watching Cooking with Victoria. Today I am going to show you how to make stuffed bell peppers. To do so, you will need bell peppers. It doesn't matter what color you, you use. Uh, they're red because I had already uh, started putting the meat in them and I decided I wanted to do a video. So you will need bell peppers, any color of your choice, and you'll want at least one bell pepper per person that you're feeding. Um, you will need some tomatoes, stewed tomatoes are best. You'll need some more bell pepper that's chopped, uh, red, yellow, green, whatever your choice is. I'm using red and green and I have onions that I have chopped up as well. You'll need fresh parsley. If you don't have fresh and you have dried, that's perfectly fine. You'll need garlic cloves. I have chopped up four here. You'll need rice, whatever brand of rice you use. This is the kind I use, Mahatma. It's very good rice. You will need, of course, ground beef. You will need oil, whatever your choice is. I use sesame seed oil. And on my ground beef, I use the 80-20 grass fed. And then for seasoning, you will need paprika, and this is two tablespoons. You'll need two tablespoons of cumin. You'll need adobo. This is a tablespoon and a half of adobo. If you don't have adobo, you can use all-purpose seasoning. This is a teaspoon of ground black pepper. This here is celery salt. You'll just need one table teaspoon of that. And here we have a teaspoon of garlic salt. Here we have some dried rosemary. And honestly, you'll just want a pinch, like a teaspoon worth. And then here, I'm sorry, I got some of my rosemary inside of my, uh, this is oregano, and you want a, t a teaspoon of that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the stove, and you'll take a pot, and you will fill it up with water, and you'll go ahead and get your rice going. You wanna get your rice to boiling. You wanna cook it till it's almost ready. You don't wanna cook it all the way. You wanna cook it to the point to where it's just about ready because what you're going to do is you're going to stuff it inside of the bell pepper so you want, you're going to put it in the oven and it's going to finish cooking. So I guess you could say to al, al dente but a little before al dente, okay? Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some oil in a skillet and we are going to get our onions and bell peppers and everything going. We're going to kind of let them cook down a little bit so we can stir up the flavor. All right, I've got my oil in the pan. As you can see, it's not very much. And I'm going to go ahead and add my onions, my bell peppers, my fresh parsley, and my garlic. Add it, so let me go ahead and get this stirred up. Okay, I've got that added. Let me go ahead and stir this up some and just let it do its thing and kind of cook down a little bit. I've got it on a medium high heat. Um, right in the meantime, I'm checking on my rice. I had my rice going before I started the video just to help with uh, the cooking time for the purposes of this video. So the rice is, as you can see, almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and I'm going to strain it. Mm, don't you love the sound of cooking vegetables that sizzle? You hear that? Yummy. Okay. 
Okay, so now that they're starting to caramelize, you want to go ahead and add your ground beef and all of your seasonings. And if you don't like ground beef, please feel free to use turkey or whatever your preference in meat is. You'll want to purchase about the three um, bell peppers. You want about a pound of ground beef. It just really depends on how big your bell peppers are. Mine are kind of big, so I got about a pound of ground beef. Um, okay, I've added my ground beef. And I switched from using a spatula to a fork. For those that watch my videos, know that I love to cook up a fork, a heavy duty fork. So now I'm going to add my seasoning. I've added my seasonings like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and get everything incorporated together. I'm going to start stirring it up, mixing it up. Okay, as you can see, I have everything incorporated here. I've stirred it up and I'm letting it cook. The um, ground beef is <clears throat> about 75% done. So what I'm going to do now is take my rice that I had earlier and I'm going to add one cup of it to the ground beef mixture here. And also I am going to take uh, one cup of my stewed tomatoes and I'm going to add it to the ground beef. Um, I'll probably have some left over and that's perfectly fine because I have two more bell peppers in the fridge that I'm going to cook uh, probably tomorrow uh, for leftovers. So let's get to it. Okay, this is my cup of rice and my cup of stewed tomatoes. I'm going to get that incorporated in. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. Alright, I'm back. It, the rice and the tomatoes have been incorporated, as you can see here. There we go. That's a better picture. The rice and the tomatoes have been incorporated, as you can see. So now what I'm going to do, I've turned the heat off on the stove top. I'm going to go ahead and get my oven preheated to 350. And what we're going to do, we're going to use a measuring cup. And we're going to put the mixture here into our bell peppers. Now, one thing is that I did not see at the beginning. On your bell peppers, you do want to cut the top off uh, and then you want to be seated if you don't want it to be, you know, you don't want it to have any heat to it. If you want it to have heat, you can leave whatever seeds are left in, in them. So then, I am a cheese lover. So I am going to add some cheese to this. Let me get the cheese and I'll show you. I'm gonna put some cheese in this mixture here and then I'm gonna put some on top at the end. Okay, it will look like so. So that is about a half of a handful of cheese and that's in my hand. Go up so you can see. Looks just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some meat some of this meat mixture in a bowl so I can um, go ahead and show you how to stuff them. Okay, here are the bell peppers and here is my mixture. I got, this is, a, uh, this is one cup and I got it almost full. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into my bell pepper. As you can see, I did stuff one successfully. And I'm going to show you the little side view. When I say stuff, I mean stuff, okay? Now be careful when you put it inside because you want to make sure that you don't tear your bell pepper when you're stuffing it. But stuff it to the top, okay? I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. Now that they are stuffed, we're going to go ahead and transfer them to our heaps. So what you're going to do now is take a spoon take some of the juice from the stewed tomatoes and put it on top of your stuffed bell peppers. It should look like this. You should put one tablespoon on top of each one. And the reason why I have the onion in between those two is because I have one that kind of won't stand up on its own, so that onion is helping it balance. 
So when you're choosing your bell peppers, make sure you pick some that are going to stand up, okay? Um, so now we're going to put these in our preheated oven of 350 degrees for 35 minutes, okay? When uh, the timer goes off, we're going to pull them out and top them with cheese, and then we're going to serve. Our timer, our timer has gone off. You want to go ahead and cut off your oven and pull out your bell peppers and go ahead and top them with cheese. All right, after you've topped them with cheese, just stick them back in the oven. It's still hot and you'll want to let them sit in there for about three to four minutes so that cheese can melt, okay? All right, this is what your stuffed bell pepper should look like after pulling them out of the oven. Uh, I let mine stay in for five minutes after I turned it off and put the cheese on. Now I'm going to get it plated up and we're going to eat. Alright, this is our meal. We have our stuffed bell pepper with cheese on top. We have our crispy kale salad. I'm going to pair this meal tonight with a 365 ginger, ginger ale. And it has no high fructose corn syrup in it. And I'm going to use my Kroger brand creamy ranch dressing. And let me go ahead and do the taste test and see how it turned out. Give you guys a side eye view. It's nice and tender. It's done. So immediately when you cut it in, when you cut it open, you're gonna have all these wonderful juices come out. And here is the first bite. It's still very hot. Get some bell pepper. Y'all, you're gonna love it. You can taste every note of every spice that we added and every herb. Thank you for watching Cooking with Victoria. I'm gonna go finish this. And I suggest that you cook this for your friends, your family, your man. Your woman, your husband, your wife, your children, your grandmother, your grandfather, your aunties, your uncles, for a get together. It's delicious. You're going to love it. Thank you for supporting me, and God bless. And if you have any questions, don't forget, ask, I'll answer. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. Help me grow. Bye-bye.